This video guide is going to show you how to use the new GDMSS Lite and iDMSS Lite cell phone apps for your Android or iPhone. Now this guide assumes that you already have your DVR fully networked for outside use. Um, basically you can already log in to your DVR you know, from a remote location. This guide does not show you how to do that. Um, so if you haven't fully networked your DVR yet, stop what you're doing right now and go back and look at those instructional guides on how to do that because this guide is not going to make any sense to you at all. It's not going to work unless you already fully have your DVR fully networked. So anyways, what you got to do is for Android, you got to download the free GDMSS Lite app from the Play Market or the Android Market. Um, it's GDMSS Lite. For iPhone, it's the same thing, except you're going to replace the letter G with an I. It's iDMSS Lite. And they are both free phone apps. They are both exactly the same. Um, I'm using an Android here, but if you're doing an iPhone, it's going to be the same as well. So just follow along here. So what I'm going to do is enter into the app. and you're going to be brought with this screen. Um, you're probably kind of wondering what to do from here. Um, what you want to do first is add your DVR to the app. In order to do that, you go to this little Foursquare button up here. And then you're going to click on this thing that says Device Manager. And what you want to do is click the Add button and then manually add. Um, and here's where you enter in all your DVR credentials. The name, you can name it whatever you want to. Normally I just name it the same location where my DVR is at. For example, I'm going to do work. Address is going to be your DVRs, or I mean your your IP address that you're trying to access. Um, now if you got this set up for remote outside use, you're going to want to put in your public IP address. Um, the only you normally always want to put in your public IP address here. The only time you'd ever want to put in your local IP address is if your cell phone is connected to the same router wirelessly that your DVR is connected to. Um, if that's the case, then you'd want to put your local IP address here. But just remember, once you step outside of that router's wireless network this local IP address won't work anymore and you'll need that public IP address in here. So normally most people are going to be connected to their cell phone's 3G connection and if that's the case you definitely need to put in your um, the public IP address of the network where your DVR is at. Um, in my case I'm going to put in the or we have a DDNS name and I'm going to put that in here. Okay, port number is going to be your TCP port on your DVR. By default, it's 37777. So unless you've changed that, go ahead and leave it the same. And then the username and password. Um, it's good to use a admin username and password for this um, to get full, com uh, full compatibility from your cell phone app. Um, but anyways, just go ahead and put your username and password in here. channel. Um, this isn't really that important um, because if you put in the incorrect amount of channels it will correct itself once you log into the DVR from the cell phone. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put in the correct amount of channels just to be safe. I have a 32 channel. And after that's done you're going to want to wanna make sure to click save up here. Okay and then as you can see it saved my DVR in there. Um, now go back to this little Foursquare screen and then you go to live preview. All 
All right, so now you're back at the live preview screen. Um, now it's time to start accessing some video camera feeds. Um, to do that, uh, what you're going to do is you see these four squares with a plus sign and a circle around them. Just uh, do a slow double click on any one of them. Actually, you can just click on them once. And then you'll see your whole device list here. Um, I'm going to click on work and then I'm going to choose my particular camera that I want. Uh, I'll do the very first one. And there's a video feed. And you're allowed to view up to four cameras at one time. Alright, so there's my four camera feeds. Um, now, normally, yeah, there we go. You can turn it sideways and get a little bigger view. Um, now, if you want to view a camera full screen, you just simply double click on it like that. And to go back, you just do that. Pretty simple. Um, now some pretty cool things on here that you might f take interest in is say for example I want to save this four square view um, that way next time I come in here I don't have to open each camera individually in order to do that first you want to pull up your four your desired four square view and after you do that you're going to click on this little star button and then you're going to click on this star button right here and then you can name your group name so we'll name it, um, just for this guide purpose, we'll just name it 4. Okay, so we got a group saved. So what I'm going to do is close out all these videos. And here's another cool thing. If you want to close out one individual video, you can click on the video feed that you want to close out and then click this little X sign right here. If you want to do all of them at one time, you can do this four square X button. I'll close them all out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is open up a favorite, um, a favorite group. And what I can do is I can go right here and swipe that wheel. And then it'll pull up all four. And what's cool is you can save, you know, several groups of four and you can just keep swiping this wheel and it will go between several groups of four all right so I'll show you a few more things here um, this little camera button right here um, it will save a snapshot of the video any at any point in time it saves it to a file location on your phone and this uh, camcorder button right here it actually will save it'll record the video um, see that little red button that means it's recording and then you click it again to stop it um, so it just saved a little you know video clip to a file location here on my phone um, another cool thing here I'll show you is um, say you have audio connected to some of your cameras um, in order to access the audio you're going to click this little speaker button right here. And you can kind of hear that wind blowing out there. This microphone button, um, if you have, if you're using two-way communication with your DVR, you can click this microphone button and um, speak into the, the uh, microphone there and um, the user or the, uh, the persons at, that's at the DVR location will hear you. Um, this only works if you have like a speaker connected to the DVR using two-way communication. But that's another cool thing. And uh, but that's pretty much how you use it. It's a pretty cool little app. Um, and uh, just let us know if you have any questions.